Now recently, I was on Dribbble and I found this amazing website design of an NFT marketplace or something similar to that. And it got me thinking, is this really possible to build in Webflow or with CSS, HTML? Is this even doable? And so what I wanna do in this video is teach you guys how to use the power of div blocks to build something like this on your own and to create this sort of amazing design and show you how easy it is to actually do that. Now, if you're new here, my name is Arna Ross and I'm a web designer and freelancer. And my mission here on this channel is to help people like you become better designers as well. Now, now let's get back into the video. So I took this image here from Dribbble and I pasted it directly into my Figma file. So this is what I have right now, right? This is the Figma file. And the first thing that we need to do and the first thing that's that's the most important thing is figure out how the hell we're gonna take this JPEG or this image and turn it into actual div block, CSS, HTML, working website. And so what I've started to do here is the process of blocking out all of the elements on the page. Now I've started to do it right here with this red rectangle and that's pretty much the secret to this entire thing. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. So this process of blocking out static images to, to figure out how you're going to build websites is essentially how I figure everything out. That's my entire secret sauce. It's everything that you need to know from me from this channel. Definitely not. But it's a really great way to find and to learn how to do things. So what I've done here is I've blocked out the entire website into these red rectangles here. And what these red rectangles signify are div blocks. They're essentially blocks that we're going to build out in Webflow, which will allow us to figure out all the margins, all the padding, how big font needs to be, how big this image needs to be, and how we can start aligning things, whether it's left aligned, whether it's centered, whether it needs to be one on top of the other, you know, whatever it is, this image here or this type of blocking out helps us imagine what this actually will be or how it even should look like. So to help us out here, I've created this little brand asset palette here, this little container that gives us some images. So I just took a screenshot of this. I redesigned this. I tried to copy the best as I could, but I'm not really sure what this font is here, but I just use American typewriter. It's not exact, but I mean, it's fine. And I've also copied this star here, which will be in the middle. And then also some sort of logo here that, that we'll use. Then I've also copied the colors. So the main colors that we're going to use. And then also I tried to find a font that was similar, but I just ended up going with Helvetica because it's close enough, right? And then I just typed out all the sub body text that we're going to use as well. Without further ado, let's dive right into Webflow and I'll start turning these blocks into actual CSS HTML blocks that we can then ship. I'll make it a live site so you guys can actually see that this really works and it's a very easy way to learn how to do things. Let's get into it. So the first thing you need to know here, let me get out of this zoom view by pressing command period. And the first thing you need to know here is that this image here is 1280 pixels in width and it's not exact, but it'll get us close enough. So what we need to do here is start figuring out how we're going to section this off. So to start, it's best to go from big blocks, obviously down to the smallest ones. So the biggest block that I can see here that we're going to need to turn into an actual div block is this, these two blocks right here, right? So the left one and the right one, we need to somehow split these two to then make the left column and the right column. Let's get into it. So I've got this blank Webflow page right here. I haven't touched anything. I mean, there's no layers, there's no fonts, there's nothing, right? Everything is as is. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing we're going to do here is bring up the search function by clicking command K. Now this will help us tremendously with speed because we can just search for the elements that we need instead of going to the panel here and then clicking and then this is a much faster way. So we go ahead and search up a section and we're going to put all of these elements inside of a section because it needs to be the hero section, right? It needs to it needs to be blocked off by the hero section. So inside this section, we want to add two div blocks. So we go ahead and click div block, type out again, div block again. We go over to the section, turn it into a flex box, align it horizontally, and then wrap to the ends. Now with this flex box here, we're going to turn it into about 40%. That seems about right. Maybe even less, maybe like 35 or something. And then the rest will be here. So 100%. And we're going to name this div block here, something like right div. We're going to go into the layers panel here and type here, maybe something like left div, just to make things easy. And we'll give this a height of something like 800, right? That's pretty much the standard here. Let's go with 800 or actually we'll use proper go with 100 viewport height. And again, 100 viewport height. And now here we have two divs. This seems like it could be a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead with something like 40 and 60 makes makes sense here. Okay, so now we've got a section and two div blocks here called left div and right div. We're going to use shift command K to see through the blocks or to go into the x-ray mode so that we can actually see how we're building this and how we're going to compare it to the block 
out in Figma. Okay, so now that we've got those two divs, let's figure out exactly how we're gonna build all the information inside of the right div, right? How are we actually going to do this? One method to use here is by just doing a command V, so copy and paste and then dragging out and seeing what div makes most sense next, right? How are we going to then get from the big divs down to the smaller div? And how are we going to use div blocks to build those margins? So over here, we've got this smaller div, which encompasses all the information or all the content. We're gonna do that again, copy paste. And then we see that we can then narrow it down to this block in the middle. So it seems that we've got one big div block, a smaller one to encompass the nav, and also the information in the middle. And then once we have that information in the middle, maybe we can turn that into a grid or something something along the lines of that. So let's go ahead and do that. So with this right div, we're gonna build another div here. So this one we can keep 100 viewport height and maybe give it something like 96 in margin on the left side at least. We'll get as close as we can here, 96. And then the right side about 65. So let's go ahead and do that, 65. So now we've got this div block here, we'll call it number two, just so that later on we can see the order of these div blocks and it'll make a lot more sense then. So once we've got that, we can go ahead and add a nav bar. We'll leave that in there for now, but you're starting to see just how this is starting to, to build out, right? Okay, so once we've got that, we're gonna wanna add another another div block, which is gonna encompass all of our information. And here we start seeing just how we need to start moving everything in terms of margin and padding. So we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and see the margin here, which is 138 by 89. So we're gonna round it off to 140 by 90. And for the height, we're gonna go over here back into Figma and just copy paste this. Okay, and so then when we copy paste it, we see that it, the div block actually overflows. So let's go ahead and see what's wrong here. So we see that this is our div block here and we see that the margin is to the top actually and it's not calculating the nav bar that we added. So let's go ahead and figure that out. It might be something like 60. Yep, so we're on like 64 pixels. So let's go ahead and change this margin down to around 65. And that looks a lot more similar to what we have here. So let's go ahead and build the rest of the div inside. I'm gonna try to speed this up just a little bit so it doesn't bore the hell out of you guys. But this is pretty much the same work Flow. It's just a div block inside of a div block inside of a div block inside of a div block and you figure out the margins based on the images or the design that you have built in Figma. So let's go ahead and do that. So now we're going to build the inside of this main component, right? And that's pretty much what the main bulk of this design is. So let's go ahead and do that. So inside of here, we're going to add a grid and we're going to give it a width of 100% and a height also of 100%. Now that 100% is taking the data from the parent element, which is the div block that we moved with fixed height. So this grid here, it seems that it's pretty much built out like this. So if we go ahead and copy paste this again, we'll see that this sort of format works like this. So we've got one large block right here, and then it seems like three smaller blocks. So let's go ahead and see if we can build that with the grid. So I'm gonna use no gaps here, just so we can have it as narrow and close to the design as possible. And I'm gonna change the design here by dragging this column grid, or this grid right here. We're gonna do the same thing with the top, and we can see that that changed. So let's go ahead and manually change that just a little bit so we can fit better the design. So now we can see that's pretty similar, and let's go ahead and start adding some div blocks in here. We're just gonna copy paste that three more times, so we've got four div blocks in this grid. And now we can start populating or adding content to these blocks. So let's go ahead and drop in all the assets that we've got here right into the block. Now I've already exported these into my finder, into my computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we've got all the information here, let's just start dragging things in here. So we've dropped this image here and now let's go ahead and add in this view artwork. So again, we're gonna go over here to our panel and drag that in. Now things don't look quite right right now, but we're just gonna start adding in information and then we can we can then turn it around. So this image here obviously looks a little bit big, so let's go ahead and find out what the real size would be. We can make a little circle here and find that it's around 110 pixels. So we can then go ahead and change that to 110. And then within this div block, we're gonna want to set it to a flex box again, vertical and align it to the center. Now the margin over here seems to be around 30, so we'll add that just like that. And if we go ahead and take it off of x-ray mode for a second, we'll see that we're getting somewhere, right? We're getting quite close. So let's go ahead and build the rest of this. So now we've typed that out, let's go ahead and change this font to fit a little bit better. And within that, within this div block here, we see that it's separated into two different versions. So if we cut that off right here, we'll see that there is a separation here and then here. So that's what that would look like. So let's go ahead and build that. We're gonna give it a height and width of auto. And within that, we're gonna give it two more divs. Let's go back into the layer panel and I'll add another div block right here. So within this div here, we're gonna to wanna to center that horizontally and give this a width of 50%. We'll do the same here. And now we can see that we've got no height here. So we do have the div blocks, but they're hidden because automatically there's no height. So let's go ahead and give them some height. We'll give them a height of about 120 each. 
I even call these div blocks the exact same, so we'll call this div block four, and we can then rename this to be something like inner divs or something like that, whatever, whatever works for you. Give this a height of about 120, maybe a little bit less to fit the exact dimensions here. Okay, so now that we've got these three text boxes in here, we're just populating these div blocks here and we can then change what the styling is or what the CSS is later on. And it's very easy to do that. It's just a simple color change or whatever it is. So we'll just leave that for now. We can call this text one, text two, and text three, just so it's easy to then remember. So now let's go ahead and copy this over. And now we've got two identical div blocks. So let's go ahead and start changing the, the size. Okay, so now we've got this information over here. We've got Earth Voices, which is the title. We've got the current bid, the price, the price in dollars, auction time, hours, minutes, and seconds. So this is easily definable. And I mean, this, this took us what, like 10 minutes to do? It's very, very simple stuff. And let's go ahead and populate the rest. And I'll show you guys how easy that is as well. Okay, so now that we've got the right side of the div built out, let me go ahead and build out the left side and then I'll show you guys exactly how everything is built. Okay, so now that we've got this fully built out, let's go ahead and see if this is even working, right? Let's see if this is even a real site. Does it work? Yes, it does. All of these are buttons. These are real buttons. These are real links. Obviously nothing is linking yet and nothing is clickable, but as you can see, everything is draggable. These are all real links, real text boxes, and I'll show you guys exactly how it's done. So let's go ahead and see here in the X-ray mode. So we can go ahead and click Shift Command X and we'll go into the X-ray mode and I'll show you guys a little bit about how it's done. Now, forgive me for the naming conventions I basically didn't name anything. This is all div block one, two, three, four, five, but I mean, that's fine. Also, I do apologize for all the spacing. I didn't really make sure to check everything was exact, exact how it should be, but I mean, it gets the job done for this tutorial. So let's go ahead and see. Back in my design, you'll see that this is exactly how it's split up. It's one big div block split into a grid, which then this section becomes its own div block, which is then split into another div block, which holds two more div blocks. And then within that div block or within those two div blocks, there's three text blocks which are all left aligned. So what did we learn today? We learned that these div blocks have superpowers. I mean, it's incredibly useful to know how to build with div blocks, especially on this left section here, because it's extremely easy to do so. This is one div block that holds a title and a text block. And then this image here in the background is simply just a background image that I've added as a image and a gradient. And then this here is another div block, which has some margin and padding. The star here, as you can see, has margin on the left and the top to bring it it down to the center and then this is just a nav which I then changed to fit my needs so I've got the button on the right instead of the left and live auction creators and brands so as you can see, if we go into the preview mode and I publish this to the world, you'll see that it's a real site. It's fully working. I'll leave the link to it in the description so you can check it out yourself. Now, obviously it's not gonna be responsive. It's not gonna work perfectly well in, in the largest of breakpoints, but this is essentially my workflow. This is how it works. This is the mindset that you need to have when you see a design and you think, oh, it's so hard to build. It's not doable. It is doable. You just need to understand the box mindset and understand that every div can go inside of another div, inside another div, inside another div. And if you just align it correctly, you'll be able to build anything you want in the world. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please do go ahead and like and subscribe. And if you want to go ahead and check out my other videos on how to build with Webflow from Figma to Webflow, it covers this topic as well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys on the next one.